Hmm? Oh, hey there. Just getting packed up. What'd you think of the show? Worth the money? <laughs> I'm glad. Your little niece really seemed to be loving it. Yeah, it's rare to see a kid that likes clowns so much. I could tell the other kids were a bit nervous. But at least she was happy. Pet you're glad, too. It's always a bit sad whenever I show up as a surprise and they're all in tears. Oh, she asked for a clown for her party? Really? Well, consider me surprised now. And you thought little old me would be perfect for the job? I'm flattered. You really know how to make a clown feel special. She was that excited? Aw, how cute. Is this a new interest of hers? If she wants to learn a bit about clowning, I don't mind sticking around to teach her a few things after the party. Oh, <laughs> it's because of a movie she watched. I see. What movie was it? I might want to check it out myself. Uh, it? Like, Stephen King? Isn't she, uh, a little young to be watching something like that? Ah, well, that's what happens when you don't set up parental controls. But she saw the, uh, clown in that movie, and she started liking clowns? She thought he was funny. I... I guess. It's not that I'm upset. Okay, well, maybe a bit. No, no, she didn't ask me if I eat kids or anything. It's just that... Well, you know, clowns have gotten a lot of bad press for the past 40 or so years. We went from being a staple of entertainment to being a cheap scare. And that book played no small part in that. I mean, it's nice that she wanted to meet a real clown, but... <sighs> I guess I'm a bit of a hypocrite here. Oh, no, never mind. I shouldn't be complaining. It was an all-around fun time. I should get going. Hmm? What do you want to ask? I wouldn't mind being hired again, but I assumed you were sick of seeing me. Uh, hang out? What do you mean? Well, uh, I prefer to have my clowning and my personal life separate, you know? <laughs> Well, geez, if you're that sure you want to see me out of my makeup, I guess I don't mind meeting up somewhere. Yeah, you have my number. Just give me a call. I'd better get going. It's unwise to stay in my clowning gear when I'm not performing. Against the clown code and all. They're more of guidelines than rules but I feel like I should at least try to respect them. Mm-hmm. I'll see you around. Hey, over here. Good to see you. <laughs> of course, you didn't recognize me without my makeup. Well, no worries. I know it's a big difference. So, I have to say I wasn't expecting you to want to meet up in a cafe. Is this meant to be a date? It was. What does that mean? Decide I'm not the one? <laughs> it's okay, but you could have cancelled if you felt uncomfortable. Uh, had to do it in a public place? Sorry? Witnesses. Hey, what's all this about? Are you going to start a scene or something? 
Can you just speak plainly, please? You found some old newspaper photos. Uh-huh. And what does that have to do with me? Okay, pass them over. Pam the Clown, 1874. Is this my great-great-grandmother? 1915? Wow, these are all so old now. How did you find this? What, what do you mean that's me? How could that be me? It's from over a hundred years ago. Besides, the makeup is totally different. I don't understand. Do you think I'm some kind of immortal clown? That's a bizarre accusation. You did your research. If that's true, then you would know that my clown title has been passed down through my family. One retires, another takes up the name. I inherited the title from my aunt. Something odd about it. A family history of clowning is bound to be a bit odd. Okay, listen. I don't appreciate you bringing up the whole every Pam the Clown mysteriously disappears thing. It's a bit of a family curse, and I don't like to talk about it. I mean, how do you think I feel? It's not comforting to think that I might give the title to my daughter one day and then suddenly up and vanish without a trace. Deliberately disappearing? I guess one or two might have, but all of them? That's ridiculous. I've got a better question. Why did you suddenly feel the need to bring this up? Even if I was some sort of everlasting clown, that's not illegal. Killing people is. Hey, I told you I don't care for that horror movie stereotype. What are you trying to say? You... <laughs> you think I'm a vampire? Okay, now you're the one telling jokes here. Vampires aren't real. I'd hardly call these photos evidence. Besides, if you really thought I was a vampire, why would you want to tell me that you knew? Wouldn't it be smarter to avoid me at all costs? <laughs> well, you know what they say about curiosity. Of course, you'd be safe in a public place. So, you did all that research into me, but you couldn't spare any time to research vampires, huh? I'll take that as a no, given that you looked right into my eyes. It's not like vampires hypnotizing people is an unknown concept. Huh. That dazed look is a bit cute. What should I do now? If I just leave you here, you'll know something's up. And I don't need you blabbing this to anyone else. Hmm. I'll need more time to erase your memories. So I guess you're coming with me. You will follow me out of the cafe and to my car. You will not speak to anyone. Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry. My friend is feeling sick, so we're gonna have to leave. Shame we couldn't order anything. But here, have a tip anyway. I'm sure you deserve it. I know customer service can be such a beast. Have a lovely day. Come on, kiddo. I'll take you home. I know, I know. The real burning question. Is her name actually Pam? I don't know, it could be.